I'm Sarah, and this is the Gospel Story. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created all the living creatures on the earth, and he created a man named Adam. And after Adam had named all of the animals on the earth, then God created Eve, a woman from Adam's ribcage, um, when he had fallen asleep. Um, then God created the Garden of Eden, which had the tree of life in it, which Adam and Eve could not eat from. There was a serpent that convinced Adam and Eve that they could eat from the tree of life because he told them that they would gain knowledge of good and evil by eating from this tree. So Adam and Eve ate from the tree of life. And later God was looking for them and was asking where Adam was, but Adam and Eve were hiding in the bushes. They were hiding away from God because they knew what they had done was bad. And so God then sent them out of the Garden of Eden, um, but he still created animal sacrifices for them to provide for them clothing to wear. Even though God did send Adam and Eve out of the garden, he still showed love to them by providing for them. And he still made sure that they were cared for and knew that God loved them. Later on in time, God created Abraham and Sarai. Now, God had made a promise to Abraham about his family line and going to all the nations, all the peoples, um, and just spreading the gospel. And Abraham, before he even married Sarai, he knew that Sarai was a, was a barren woman. So when God had made this promise to Abraham, he could not believe him at first that he would be able to have um, descendants that his family line would exceed all the land. Um, now, throughout this time period, there were many great prophets that told of the Messiah coming, of Jesus' coming. One of the prophets during this time period was a man named Noah. And the people during Noah's time were doing very sinful actions. They were not doing what God had wanted them to do. So God took Noah and his family on a giant ark and had a flood come over all the earth, so that way all the people would be wiped out. God then made a new covenant with the earth, saying that he would never make it flood like that ever again, and that he would just make the, make the earth new. Um, another thing that happened during this time was um, Moses. And Moses was another one of God's prophets, and God gave him the Ten Commandments so that way people could learn and know how to grow more with God. Um, another thing is that God made um, the burning bush with Moses so that way Moses knew that it was God talking to him and wanting to talk to him. There were also many other great prophets which God used during this time period to tell about the Messiah's coming. Now, the Messiah was born of a virgin named Mary, um, and Mary was betrothed to a guy named Joseph. And Joseph, Joseph, when he had heard that Mary was pregnant with a baby, he initially did not want to be with her anymore, but then an angel of the Lord came to came to him telling him that she had the messiah um in her womb and that joseph and mary should name the baby jesus which the name jesus actually means salvation in a hebrew when jesus was born even though he came from god and was born of mary he was both fully man and fully God. Now, when Jesus was alive on the earth, um, when he 
was older and was in his 30s, um, he did many miracles. He performed um, healing and just drawed out demons from people and healed the sick. He gave sight to the blind and healed the disease. Um, He provided food for many different people and he fed 5,000 people with just a simple loaf of bread and some fish. And everyone didn't think that they would have enough, but thanks to God, Jesus, he knew that there would be enough. And so he provided food for everyone that was there. And um, Jesus is also the bread of life, too. And so Jesus, um, since we are sinners, we needed him to come to save us so that way he could die on the cross for us and save us from all of our sins so that way we can then have a relationship with God. So Jesus died on the cross from our for our sins, even though he had done no sin him, himself. And so he had died, and three days later he rose again and ascended in the heaven like shortly after he had died. And so now Jesus is going to return back to us. Um which we never know when when that will be, but he's going to come back again and take us, take all of the people that believe in him up to heaven to be with him forever in heaven and to just celebrate and worship him all the time. And we can just constantly be in his presence and with him and know that he is king of all things and that he is only good.